For years, I've been asking Microsoft to make an OS dedicated for gamers with low processes, low background usage, low RAM usage, and overall just you can install it, install your games, and you're good to go. But they've been doing this already for years and not telling anyone. Microsoft's been making a secret gaming OS? That's right, they have. And it's actually been out for a couple of years. It's called Windows Pro for Workstation. Now, typically when you install Windows, you might install Home, Pro, but you're not really gonna touch the other ones. You're not gonna touch Education, obviously, Enterprise, but Pro for Workstation is the perfect OS for gamers. Imagine a simple Pro installation of Windows, but without the Candy Crush, the pre-installed apps, and all the other stuff that you really don't want with all the benefits you may want, such as Xbox services, and the Windows Store. Well, let's just say I installed it and was very impressed. No pre-installed apps. It was almost like I chose to not have any apps installed. It was so nice. You can use a Microsoft account. You can do everything else on a normal Windows install, but it's very light and bare. But obviously I had to take it a little bit farther and make my own custom version of Windows 11 Pro for Workstation. And I decided to test it against my other two OSs that are publicly available in my Discord right now link down below by the way and that is my stripped windows 10 with absolutely zero installed apps zero extra things very bare just made for gaming has a lot of features stripped out i also compared it to my chamber os windows 11 which is kind of like i made my own pro for workstation i disabled all the apps did a couple of reg streaks all that stuff and then obviously i had to go above and beyond I made my own custom Pro for Workstation. Now, this has very little things done to it. Everything still works. I've tested it. Everything works fine. But the only difference is I've done a couple of little things just to give it a little bit more performance. And it's publicly available in my Discord, as I mentioned before. So you can scroll down and get this OS for yourself and test it yourself. And I decided to test all three OSs. I'm going to be honest with you guys. They all perform the same within margin of error. Literally, I think the only difference is in Rift Breaker where the 0.1% lows are significantly lower on Windows 10 versus Windows 11. This says that Microsoft has done a very good job at optimizing. And why not go for Pro for Workstation though? You get very low usage. So maybe in a game that is very, very demanding, you really will be able to see, oh, yep, I'm gonna get a little FPS difference. And also, who doesn't wanna use the Windows Store? I mean, Game Pass, can't use Game Pass on, Windows 10, on my Windows 10. It's gonna work very well. And this is a very up-to-date OS. Honestly, you could run this OS bare, download it straight from Microsoft, get the Windows Store, sign in with a Microsoft account, honestly, and you could get very good performance. That's what I noticed myself when I was testing this OS earlier. This is a very high quality OS. So are there any downsides? No. In fact, for most people, move to Windows 11. Windows 11 is absolutely perfect. I love Windows 11 now. Windows 11 looks really good. It's really nice for productivity. So very, there's a lot of very nice options here. I have my task manager up on the Pro for Workstation right now. We're running like about 90 processes with everything still running. I have Xbox services running and the fact that it performs the same does say a lot, but this is a very short video because I just wanted you guys to know, hey, install Windows Pro for Workstation. It's awesome. Hit the link down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. If you wanna support me, join the Discord as well. Get your installed on Chamber OS Pro for Workstation and See you guys later. Peace.